Dallas, a very good evening, uh, listeners of Financial Radio. I'm Mehu. I'm DJ Moody with Financial Radio 104.9 FM on a leader's journey, where we bring you leaders from all over the community who have made a huge difference to be where they are, and we want to learn from their experiences and listen to them. And uh, once again, Dallas Financial's all about bringing the community together. Produced by Vishali Tucker, I'm Moody Akhtar. Very happy to have our Mayor of Plano. Very privileged to have him here, Mr. John Munns, Mayor of Plano. Mayor John Munns became Plano's 40th Mayor on May 10th, 2021. Prior to becoming Mayor, he served the Plano community in many capacities, including a variety of leadership roles. His most recent position was Chair of the Planning and Zoning Commission. Prior to that, he served on the Economic Development Board. Mayor Munz has an extensive background focusing on educating Plano's children. He served on the Plano Independent School District Board as a trustee for 16 years, with the three of those years as the president. Once again, Dallas, welcoming on Fun Asia Radio, Mr. John Munz. A very good evening to you. Good evening. Thank you for having me. This is a real pleasure. It's so, so nice to meet you, Mr. John Munz. So tell us, uh, you know, the, the format of the show is to just listen to the journey, right? Any time uh, someone becomes a mayor or a leader in any field that they are expert in, there's so much to learn from the experiences. So where did it all start? Well, I've I've lived in Plano for, for 50 plus years. I grew up here, went to high school at Plano Senior High and uh, went to college and, and came right back and, and got involved in the, uh, the city and the school district. Um, my dad was mayor of Plano in 92. And at that same time, I was on the school board. So I had, we had a mayor in one room and a school board member in the other. We worked together in, in uh, the uh, real estate development uh, industry, and, and we still do. And uh, we fell in love with Plano many, many years ago, uh, just like a lot of people have. And part of my obligation to this city is to give back. My whole family believes that we should always give back if you want that community to be a better place to live. So my three adult children live in Plano. I have seven grandchildren that live in Plano and go to Plano schools. So uh, we're, we're totally committed to the live, work, and play aspect of the City of Excellence. Wow, and, and it's so nicely put that you said many of our listeners of Fun Asia Radio Either they could not, if they could not find anything Plano, they moved to other surrounding cities. But the first preference is always Plano because they want the Plano schools. And talking about Plano schools, you have some background in school districts. So where was it when you were managing it and where is it today? Well, I think the biggest part that Plano is today compared to where they were in the early 90s was the growth. And, and what you're seeing in Frisco and McKinney and, and Allen, uh, just this massive growth that's going on in Collin County. And it, it started in Plano, believe me. Uh, and it was amazing. We were building four, five, six schools a year just trying to keep up with the demand. So today, I think it's more established and it's, it's built this reputation of quality education uh, throughout Plano and, and certainly all of Texas. And so uh, Plano has a great reputation for quality education. And, and, it, and, it's, and when I was there early in the 90s, uh, we, we were trying to keep up with so many people wanting to come here. And, and what was the secret sauce, right? I mean, talk about Gullage Elementary or Jasper High School or Plano West or Plano Senior High. What was the secret sauce where it became one of the top most places where people want to bring their kids here? Well, it was, it was high expectations on both ends. It had high expectations from the parents. Uh, they wanted the best education for their children. But the people that have been a part of this district, the administration, the people that were actually my teachers, 
moved on to administration, and they were the ones running the district, and they believed in high-quality education. And between the parents and those that had been a part of the district for so many years, it just merged into a terrific district where we wanted to make sure that every school that exists in Plano was a great school and that it didn't matter if you wanted to move to the east side or the west side of the central part, you were going to go to a great school. And that was really our objective every year. So once again, Dallas, if you are just tuning in to Financial Radio, we are doing our leader's journey with our mayor of Plano, John Munns. Privileged to have him here. And so talking about schools and kids and quality education, how inclusive do you feel the community is doing towards so many immigrants moving from the kids point of view how is that coming along the well, inclusion absolutely I, I you know and i think a lot of people think that diversity inclusion has only happened in the last few years but even even in the early 90s uh we had a huge uh diverse population in the school district and in plano and uh, it's, it's just grown because I think they appreciate the unity and the inclusion that they feel in Plano. And that was a big part of why I ran for mayor, because I wanted to continue to make all residents of Plano feel accepted and engaged and a part of making this such a great city. And and that's that's my main objective going forward. And I think you are doing an amazing job keeping that objective. How did Plano grow so much? Did you envision that when you were growing up here in 80s and 90s? I, again, I'm not sure I did. I, I, I think there was this uh, mass uh, movement of to move into a quality uh, suburb, be close to Dallas, but still have maybe um, more high quality education, high quality services in the city, things like that. And that being understood, I think the city and the school district jumped on top of it and said, here we go, we're gonna make it even better than it already is. And so I think it's one of those instances where Plano realized an opportunity and took, took advantage of it. And, and like you said, uh, the surrounding cities, McKinney, Allen, Frisco, everybody caught up and we we are the north texas is growing crazy it's it's so crazy and and you know in uh, frisco and and mckinney and and those areas are really growing and it's and it's good it's good for the entire community we want to work well together with our neighbors and we will the funny thing about it is salina which is still you know pre predominantly a lot of land that's still available in salina but salina aims to be the largest city in Collin County one day because they have more landmass than anybody else. And and it's pretty, I, I like Salina. I don't know, for some reason, yeah. I have a soft corner for Salina. <laughs> so, so, Mr. Mayor, John Munns, do you have any leadership thoughts that our listeners that are listening to you, you would give for them to drive to become a mayor or to become a leader or learn from any of your experiences? Well, I think the main thing that I have, and that's the reason why I ran for mayor, was that I want to be a mayor for all people. And I've said that, and now I have to, to live it. And to do that, you have to be a, a voice for everyone and not just for a few. And so a big part of what I want to do is to be inclusive with everyone and make sure I'm hearing everyone's voice and not just a small segment. And so a big part of what we want to do going forward in the winter is to have listening sessions with small groups, 15, 20, 25 max, and really get some feedback of what do you like about Plano? What do you not like about Plano? Do you feel safe and secure here? Can we improve in areas? And I think that's going to be a big effort to make sure that we're getting that feedback and input from the majority of citizens here in Plano and not just those that have been involved year after year after year, but those that have never had an opportunity to 
uh, plug in in certain areas and give them that opportunity. Well, what a what a great uh, idea, and I think that's going to f really go very well. Any advice uh, or any takeaway? What is your day-to-day -day mayors? What what is a day of a mayor? Most of most of what the mayor does is he represents the city, whether it's a, a an opening of a business or. Um, going to schools and encouraging the kids to make sure you know continue to do your best um, and then and then the Chamber of Com Commerce and and other uh, areas of the Plano that make it so great uh, always want me to um, give them that feedback from the mayor's point of view how we're doing what we need to do how to how to move forward and so a lot of speeches every week uh, City Council is on uh, the second and fourth Monday of every every month, but in between there, there's a lot of work that goes in between, you know, getting things uh, passed, uh, making sure that um, our roads are, are being improved, uh, big un infrastructure um, bond that we passed in May so that we can make these uh, roads, especially the main arteries, Plano Parkway, Park, Parker, Spring Creek, Legacy, Hedgecoats, those streets that we all drive on every day. All day. And, and improve those uh, significantly. And that's, that's really a big part of what the city does. What are the challenges you have seen in what happens with the career you have in the city itself? I, I think most of most of the challenges which are few and far between in in Plano because we've been you know we've had such a positive uh, environment to live in uh, but occasionally uh, because people want to come in and and be a part of the community sometimes they have different ideas of how to approach success and and that's fine I I, I think everyone's input is important but sometimes it becomes uh, contentious and no one wants Plano to be anything but great. And so I think that's the bottom line that we have to always remember is that uh, Plano's a city of excellence and it's only that way because we all have the same mindset for where it needs to go. And that is forward and making sure it's a quality place to live, uh, work and play, and that's that's really important to us. That's great. and and. Again, uh, Mr. John Munns, Mayor of Plano, on Punisher Radio, A Leader's Journey. Thank you so much. One more question uh, that is coming to my mind is, uh, is there a story as a, you know, going to high school, going to elementary, doing the things you did in your path of Plano for so many years, you, you want to share any story? Well, I, I mean, I have a lot of stories, but uh, this one is always kind of a selfish story, but... Um, in 1977 was my senior year. Plano uh, was always had a great reputation for being a great school and a great football program. And um, we had just come off um, about a 500 season, so we weren't really doing the best that people expected us to do. And so our senior year, we ended up going to the state championship back in those days we didn't have quite the entertainment selection that we do today we ha you know we have the movies and we have concerts and we have shopping and tons of restaurants in 1977 Plano was much smaller and so everyone went to the football game and um, so in the final state championship at Texas Stadium which is no longer uh, it no longer exists we had 50,000 people there 50,000 50, people, 000, 1977. Which was unheard of in, uh, at that time. Now now when they have the big, you know, multiple state championships at uh, AT&T Stadium, uh, they, they have a lot of people. But at that time, it was a record beyond measure. And uh, we won the state championship. Wow. And, and we all went back to Plano and there was a big celebration. I wish I could remember where it was, but it was in one of the older uh, facilities. And on there was a billboard as you enter into Plano on Central Expressway. And somebody had put
put a sign over, you know, it says, Welcome to Plano. But they put a banner right across it and said, Last one out, turn off the lights. And it was it was just one of those great experiences <laughs> that I'll never forget. And um, maybe, maybe that was the point that Plano became on the map and really something that everybody said, I've got to check this place out, and maybe maybe this is a place we want to move to. So, uh, if if it's not, I I certainly believe it was. <laughs> oh, what a amazing story! And you know, you definitely fell. I fall in love in Plano with Plano when I came to. You know, I lived in Denton, lived in some other surrounding cities. I don't want to name them, <laughs> but Plano. I've been Plano person for last twenty five years, and. It's an amazing city, and and to see the IT, to see the Toyotas and Liberty Mutuals yeah. and the boom that's going on on Plano West, it's so amazing how we are growing as technology. It's it's amazing, and and although we're not, you know, Silicon Valley or or even Austin, we're not far behind. We have a lot of tech technology companies that are right here in Plano that are doing amazing things. I was in. Uh, uh, a n company that's been around forever, WePro, which has just exploded. And they're right there in the legacy area as well. You know, we, we have mass transit that we pay for, DART. And uh, a lot of our neighbors to the north of us don't pay for that. So when we're competing for companies to move to Plano, uh, sometimes we have one arm tied behind our back. Uh, because we don't have the economic development money that some of them have to offer. And at the same time, we're still so competitive because people really want to be here in Plano. Yeah. They want to be next door to Toyota and J.P. Morgan and Liberty Mutual. So it's a, it's really a proud moment for all of us. You just said it. You know, sometimes when people ask you where do you live and you say, I'm right next to Toyota, it feels so yeah. so good. It's just something you feel about Plano. It's it's a it's a wonderful feeling. and And... We've always kind of had that designation as a corporate community, and 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 Frisco does too, but more so entertainment uh, venues and and uh, communities as well. But uh, we're always competing against each other, but but we certainly want to work well together. Yeah. Do you have any academic path to become a mayor? I mean, if kids or teenagers or folks who are looking to become a mayor is there a path or are there things they need to follow the beauty of being a mayor uh, certainly here in Plano is that it's a nonpartisan opportunity for you to go out and expand the voter base and go and do what we were just talking about which was make sure you represent everybody in Plano and it's easy to say, it's hard to do, but to be able to go out and say, I represent you, I represent you, I represent everyone. How can I make your life here in Plano better? And that's really important when you do run a campaign to be the mayor of a city of 300,000 people. That seems like, well, that how do you do that? But because I've been in this community for so long, the the ability to know who's who and and who really does have a big impact on what makes Plano so great I think that's a real uh, it was real beneficial to me but those that don't have that that's what they need to start working on now is really get involved in the community whether it's it doesn't have to be in city boards and commissions it can be Nonprofits and other places that really do help Plano become such a great city that, you know, I, I've never denied that Plano doesn't have our issues as well, whether it be homelessness or drug problems or whether we, and things like that. And there are so many um, nonprofits that are out there tending to those issues. And we appreciate that. I mean, these are things outside the capacity of the city, and yet we still have so many people that care about the community that they want to, you know, help with, you know, education or with with drug issues or whether it be homeless homelessness or food insecurity, whatever that is. 
there are so many people that step up. And if people will just get more involved in those areas, I, I think they'll, they'll really get to know the community in areas that if they want to take the next step to lead this city, then that's, that's a good starting point. Great. And so once again, Mayor of Plano, Mr. John Munns, how did it feel to win the election and become a mayor, right? Again, people like me have to go, take the time and vote. And we, the community looks at who they want to vote and you became the winner, right? Yeah. What does it take to be a winner and how, how does it feel? Well, it feels wonderful. I, I, won't, I won't lie to you. I was, I was uh, you never know. I mean, even as much experience as I've had in the community, um, it still required me to get to know so many people. And, and that's the thing you, need, you have to remember. Somebody like me that's been here for 50 years and been on different boards and commissions and school boards, you still know so few people uh, just because of the size of the community. So just the idea that we were able to, and not just myself, but all those that ran for office, it was the largest turnout in a municipal election in Plano ever. And I, I felt satisfied in that regard because win or lose, we got more people out to vote that probably had never been interested until this year. And that was real gratifying to know that even in a very small way, we were able to expand that voter base and get more people interested. And hopefully that's a start of more and more uh, recognition of what's going on in their community. That's great. So before we say goodbye to you, we have a couple of minutes left. Are there any thoughts you would like to share with the community, with our listeners of Fun Asia Radio? Uh, once again, on behalf of Vishali Tucker, our producer and CEO, <laughs> and me, Moody Akhtar, thank you so much for taking the time to come and talk to our people in our community my pleasure um, you know I think the main thing is to know that we have such good people that run the city from the city manager to our police department to our fire department to our emergency medical services these people are so dedicated to what they do and we're really fortunate to have such a great police chief fire chief city manager as I said earlier those people are the ones that really do run the city on a day-to-day -day basis and to have such quality people in those positions i think should make everyone feel very good about the community they live in absolutely and and we don't get to meet them every day or say hi to them but please on behalf of our community listening to the radio and Fanesha and me and vishali please say thank you for all they do every day i i definitely will and once again, Mr. John Munns, Mayor of Plano, thank you so much for taking some precious time from your evening on Saturday to come on my show. My pleasure. It was really uh, great to be with you. Have a great day. Thank you.